Okay, our next step will do will be to actually plot the shear and bending moment diagrams. So I'm going to move down here to get a little more room. I'll go up here to Insert, Graph, XY Plot. Now, on the bottom, I'm going to put X. Now, I told you the default system in MathCAD is SI units. Well, I really would rather not have this in meters. I want it in inches. So I'm going to do a divide sign and then type inch. Okay, then I'm going to click over here. I'm going to have V of X. That's going to be what appears for my Y axis. Divide sign LBF for pounds force. Press enter. And it's plotting from 0 to 20. Okay, now I'm going to just move this around here. Now, if you've had me for classes before, you know I'm very particular. I want to see the axes labeled and titles on the chart. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to click off my chart and double click on it here. All right, now I've got a lot of options here. Let's go ahead and add some grid lines. I'm going to click on grid lines and grid lines. Okay. Now I'm going to click apply. If I move over, you'll see it's added grid lines. If you don't like the color of them, you can come in here and change them. So I'm going to change them to kind of a dark gray and apply. All right, looks pretty good. Now for um, traces, I'm going to click on hide arguments because I don't like it when MathCAD is showing uh, X and V of X. It might be a little confusing. I'd rather put in my own label. So I'm going to click apply. That won't show up until we actually exit out of this window, but you'll see what it does in just a moment. Okay, number format. Uh, let's see, let's go with engineering number format, maybe show uh, three decimal places, you know, just whichever. This is the important part, labels. Okay, well this plot is a shear diagram, so I'm going to say your shear diagram. I'm going to click on x-axis, that's going to be x in inches. y-axis is v of x in pound force. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click off my chart, and there is my shear diagram. Now, I don't like this showing 20 times 10 to the 0. I'm going to change that. So I'm going to double click on this again. Keep clicking until I get this. I'm going to go to number format and just change it to general. And click apply. Okay. Click off, and there is my diagram. Now, I can stretch this out to make it a little bit longer on the page. All right. There's my shear diagram, and I'm not going to go through and do the moment diagram. If you can get the shear diagram to work, you can get the moment diagram to work. Right, I hope that helps.